Hello guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own end slate. This is a highly requested tutorial and a lot of people use it. If you guys don't know what an end slate is, it's basically a card at the end of your video that tells people to watch your previous video. It usually also has um, your social media so people can kind of connect to you. It's a really good tool to getting people to go to your other social media and also to check out more videos. So it's definitely something that if you guys are willing to implement, implement it, you definitely should because it will help your channel grow. But anyways, it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to be teaching you today how to make an unanimated one just because I know a lot of people don't have the animation software that I use. So I figured I would just do a flat one first and then if you guys really do want me to do an animated one again, um, since mine got deleted, um, definitely let me know. So I'm on PicMonkey.com. This is 100% free. If you guys are having problems with this, I definitely recommend using Chrome browser. It's amazing. Um, definitely use Chrome. So you want to go to design and you want to go to custom and we're going to type in 1350 by 760 because that is the dimensions for your videos. So click make it. So then you're going to have this blank slate. So you could do like a solid color if you wanted, but what I think looks really good is to use a background. Now definitely make sure that whatever background you use, you have permission to do it or you made it yourself or something like that. So I have a few that I have made. Let's see, go into thumbnails. Um, let's do this one. Okay, so you guys could use whatever background you want. Um, this is just one that I kind of put together. So you want to choose your background first, and then what you can do is go into the geometric overlay, and you want to make this whatever color. So this is basically going to be your border for your video. So, and you guys could design this completely differently. It doesn't really matter. Um, you kind of just like make it for whatever you want to see it as. So here is going to be like the border of your video. So you're going to put your video in here in your actual editing software. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead in to add another overlay and I'm going to put this over top of here. And um, actually I'll put it down here. Um, so I'm going to put text, go to text and go to yours. And this is just going to be a really quick copy, so you guys can just do whatever you want. I'm just kind of showing you how you would put it together. This actually isn't going to be my end slate, but I just don't want this video to be, like, super long. Um, so I use Bebas, which is from Defont.com. It's amazing. Um, so I'm going to put in here, um, watch my last video, or whatever you want. And then this I'm going to change the color of. Let's do a green. Yeah. Okay, so watch my last video. And I'm going to make this bigger so it kind of fills this spot. Okay. Right click, duplicate, make it white so it looks 3D. Okay. So then your video is going to go here, watch my last video, and then you could go ahead in and put like your social media if you wanted to do that. So like Instagram, um, Twitter, and... I don't know, whatever other social medias you guys have, but you guys kind of get the point. I'm not really going to make this like a legit um, end slate, but let me see if I do have, I think I do have an Instagram logo. Ugh, so much stuff on my computer. I think it's in here, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, you could put like your social media here. So you go to text and add that in. Um, I always forget what my stuff is. Okay, so you guys kind of get the point for this. Um, I'm not going to make it, like, too good. 
because like I said I'm not actually going to be like using this as my end slate but yeah you guys could like customize this add emojis add whatever you want as long as you have permission to use them you're good to go um so then what you want to do is you want to go and you want to save this and save it as whatever you want to just make sure you know where it's going to go and so i'm going to change mine to desktop okay and it's going to save it and once you see masterpiece saved you can go into your editor you could use imovie whatever you want just know that iMovie only allows one overlay, which is fine, since we only used one overlay box. But, like, some people do like to use two videos or whatever. You can do that if you wanted to. Um, but you'd have to have, like, Final Cut or something that allows two overlays. So now you're going to go into go to your editor, and you're going to have a clip from your last video. Now, a lot of people um, find that they just, like, keep it in their editing software for the next time. That's something you guys can do. But go into your Finder or you know, find the photo. So mine's going to be an end slate and you want to drag that in. How You want to put this at the end of like your video or whatever. So this is what it looks like. If you find that it's like a bit too small, because sometimes it's hard to like tell, you know what I mean? You could always go to transform and make it a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what it would look like. Then you want to drag your uh, video clip over top and then go to transform and then make it small so that it will fit into your little box here and there you go just kind of center it so now this will be at the end of your video right so here's your end slate da, 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 da. perfect so now let me show you how you would actually do it in um, YouTube so I'm gonna go to share and export file and I'm gonna save this you guys could put like background music on here or something like you know you guys can like do it up but just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not going to be too crazy about this so there we go and it's basically going to export this so if you guys are using Final Cut Pro it's going to have to get to 100 before it's good to go and then we could go ahead in to YouTube and we're going to upload it. Okay, so it's currently uploaded to YouTube, so you want to go to Return to Editing, and um, you're basically going to click on this link, and then go in here, and to, you'll see Annotations. So this is where you're going to basically add your annotations. So what you want to do is you want to have whatever video you want. You want to have the link, or what you could do is I'll show you in a little bit. So because this is just the full video, you want to have to like scroll to the end, but you just want to scroll to where your end slate is, and you want to add an annotation, and you want to go to Spotlight. And then you'll see this here, and you just want to drag this over top, and then kind of make sure that it covers the whole thing, because what people will do is they'll click on this to go to that video. Um, so then you want to go here to link and you want video, so then you would just post the link to a video, which I currently don't have, but um, you would just do that. You want to click open in a new window, and you want to drag this all the way until the um, end slate ends. So for me, it's the whole video, but you guys would, you know, kind of customize it for you. And then you would just click save and apply changes, and because this doesn't link to a video, because I didn't put it one, but... When you actually go to the video, you'll see that there'll be this little speech bubble that comes across it. You'll see, you see this? Well, you probably can't see it very well. But basically, when you click this, it would take you to that video. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please be sure to give this video um, some love, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!